Hi everyone, welcome to Embarer 369. In this video, we will see how to use SPA FFS to store data. So when you store data using F S SPA FFS, these data will be stored in a permanently. Until and unless you modify it, it will be stored there. So using this, we can do some cool stuff like storing SID and passwords. And if you want to store any other like some important data, you want to store it permanently, you can by using this, you can store it. So now let's move to the programming part. So I'm just creating a new project. Uh, just type some random letters here. Just next. If you just use this one, create a project using one of the templates. So there are already some templates available. So I'll just show you that. So in the storage, you go to SPFFS and finish. So now we have created the template project, which is already there. So I'm just going to build this project. So if you see the libraries, it is using a SPFFS library. And this is the initializing process of the SPFFS. So this is a directory actually. This directory is very important actually. So whenever you create a file, so it will be under this particular directory. So I'll just show you to you that. If you know the file handling in C programming, then you might be, it, this will be like very simple for you to understand actually. So as I mentioned earlier, to create a file, you can see it, what they are using. They are using SPFFS for directory. So in directory only you have to like create your uh, text file or whatever you want to create. So like it's a W means write operation, they are performing it. And R means read operation, they are performing it. So this is for reading. So it's like basic file handling. If you know the, understand the basic file handling in C programming, these things are nothing actually. So once the code is completely built, we will uh, launch the code and check it, how it works. So yeah, first of all, like in the last video, we have seen how to create a custom partition, right? See, uh, when I build this project, you can check it here also, like in the folder of this project. There is something called partition underscore example dot csv. I'm just opening this thing. See, if you see in this thing, like it is similar to what we did in the last video actually. Our project is successfully built. No error, of course. Uh, yeah. If you, this, if you see this thing, okay, like it, uh, this CSV file, it is similar to what we did in the last video. So, uh, if you just open this thing, on the command prompt, go to the folder where the SPFS is there, just copy. Test it. If you simply type notation table, only you see. Now you can compare this and this. This is some uh, like similarly, this is somewhat similar to what we did in the last video. So you can check this out also. So the 6000 is the hexadecimal value actually. So if you just convert this hexadecimal to the decimal, yeah. So it is like 24,000. So that's what uh, it is showing it here. So 24K, that's what it is showing it to 24K. So don't get confused why it is 6000, why it is coming 24K. So it is like that. Because here it is a hexadecimal, it is in decimal format actually. So that's the reason it is like that. So I'll just upload the code. Let's check it. What happens? Just uploading it. Yeah. Just see the result in the terminal. Uh, yeah. Opening file, file return, read file, read file from hello world. Yeah. Our project is successfully running. So from this video, you might have got some idea about how to work on SPF of us. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you on next tutorial. Have a nice day.